I've launched a new course that will teach you how to build QGIS plugins with QGIS version 3.0. Version 3.0 was recently released and it has a lot of improvements over the other QGIS versions. In this video, I just want to go through and show you these plugins will develop in the course and uh, also give you an update for what might be coming up on YouTube. So I'm going to show you these plugins I've developed and we developed these in the course. The first is called Buffer Clip. And what buffer clip does is it takes a, a stream or a vector, a vector input, and it will buffer that with a given distance and map units. And then you can select a, an input raster, and what will happen here is we output a buffer, and we use that buffer to clip the raster, giving us a new raster. And simple enough, but the main point of this is that it gives you uh, it gives you the background in using geoprocessing and also in building these GUIs on um, these user interfaces that are kind of new wants to build so you learn how to code these drop down boxes the spin boxes and these save and open buttons and the line edits and so I'll click OK here. The plugin runs. If I turn the lower layers off, you'll see that we're left with a polygon buffer and a clip of, of the buffer from the raster. So that's plugin number one. I'm going to turn those off. I'll turn these layers back on here. Plugin number two, <clears throat> excuse me, is image reloader. And this will allow you to load um, these, these image servers into QGIS. And while this seems like just a simple checkbox application, what this will do is it will teach you how to load in any server you want that you have the URL for. So I'll click OK on these. And once those are loaded in, I can go into my uh, sources here. And in my XYZ tiles, I now have Bing, Esri, and Google Satellite imagery which I can bring into my map document. And we'll wait just a second for this to load in. <clears throat> and close out of here. And here you can see that I now have Google Satellite imagery brought into my QGIS map document. And you can use this. You can actually print this out in maps as long as you abide by Google's uh, policies of use. So I wanted to come and I wanted to show you these things. Um, this is going to be a paid course as I spend a lot of time developing it, but I will post snippets of it on YouTube. I'm planning to post the initial installation and getting the environment set up with QGIS and PyCharm. So for those of you who have some, some Python programming knowledge, you might be able to find your way from there. And some of this will tie back into the previous tutorials on YouTube I've posted with using with developing QGIS plugins. Um, so I'll make you aware of that. Uh, if you subscribe, that would be great. And then you'll be um, notified of the upcoming videos that will be coming out soon to show you some of those nuances with QGIS 3. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing your comments and, and hope you learn from these videos in this course.